Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate pancakes. This week on That Aussie Tribe is cooking, so let's get started. So first off, you're going to want to have one cup of self-raising flour, three thirds of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of caster sugar, three quarters of a cup of milk, and one normal egg. And I also have whipped cream and chocolate bits to make it taste even better. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a bowl, which is preferably green because I have a green one. And put your flour, sugar and cocoa powder together and combine it. As you can see, I didn't sieve it or whatever you call it, but I recommend you sieving it so it makes the pancakes light and fluffy. Once it's all combined, you can add in the egg and milk and whisk it carefully because otherwise it will go everywhere. Um, by the way, I decided to add a little bit more milk as it wasn't the right texture, so once it looks like this, it should be perfect. So once it's all combined and you have the right texture, it's now for the fun bit is to light the fire. As you can see, it took me a few goes as the lighter wouldn't work, and then I used a match and that scared me. So then I got a match to light a skewer so I could put it on because I was really scared, but that didn't work because I thought, yeah, I don't know, that didn't work. So I had to go and find another lighter and it was a very difficult task. I suggest that you get your mum or dad to do this bit because it's very dangerous. Okay. So once you get it up and running, you put the pan over the flame and heat it up. When you have the fire on, don't even put it like halfway because otherwise it will burn, trust me. It smells pretty bad when it burns. <laughs> so you should have a quarter of a cup handy so you put the batter in the pan and it makes the perfect size. Just watch the video and you should probably get that, I don't know. Can't explain very well. When you see the bubbles at the top from your pancake and they are popping, it means it's time to turn it over. So carefully use your flipper to turn it over and it should be beautiful. So after you turn it over, just wait a bit and then you'll check it and then yeah, it should be done. Um, keep on doing this step until you're out of the batter or don't want any more. So I made around like six, seven pancakes with what I did. And if you want more than that, just double exactly what I said. I'll leave the actual recipe down below just in case you want it. So now that the pancakes are done, you should probably wait for them to cool before you put cream or anything on them. Of course I didn't because I had no idea what I was doing. But oh well, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so I just put some cream on it and chocolate bits to make it nice for you guys to look at. I don't know. And there we have it. Wonderful chocolate pancakes that taste wonderful. I accidentally forgot to film me eating them, but they taste absolutely amazing. Okay, so that is it for today on That With Your Tribe. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and look out for me every single Wednesday. Also, my social medias will be down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my main channel and The Tribe, which will also be down below. And yeah, that was spoken really fast. Okay, bye.